was making a pitch, he was trying to make a break and make a start in California. So he asked me if I'd give him a horse. I knew as soon as I got on him, I remember calling Frank. And I said, this horse is going to take us to the World Cup in Dubai next year. He thought I was drunk. I said, Carol, don't give me this BS. I've heard it all before. If he wins, we'll take him home for a pint. <laughs> <laughs> the local church. Oh, wait. Barely talked to you, wouldn't he? Huh? This is a story about a horse. This is a story about a trainer. This is a story about magic happening. Kinsale King in front, straight round the bend. Doesn't matter, USA. We won! I said, hell, this kid can train. Everyone had heard how this guy is in his first year training. He's really new to the game and how he'd won in Dubai. And everyone was amazed and, you know, it just doesn't normally happen like that. Well, Carl had a plan, which is quite unusual. This was the first time in the United States where somebody had mapped this incredibly ambitious route out. Our main goal is to get back to Dubai on March 27th. To get back here is one thing. To win it again would be huge. Carl asked me if I would be interested in riding him. I was like, of course I would be. You just hope that you don't get any hiccups, you know, while you're here, because it's a long ship. Let's just hope that he trained your horse well. Everybody wants success. Nobody wants to be attached to losers. How good a bad trainer is up to his last winner. There's only one way to win a race, and that's to finish first, and there's a million ways to lose it. The romance of the story is accepting the challenge of trying to excel elsewhere and garnering a reputation all across the world. Whether we belong there or not, you know, we're still going to try it, and that's what it's based on about. Gates fly and they're racing.